Toby's vintage train. At last, Victoria was ready. That controller came to see her. I want you to go to Thomas's junction with Edward, he said. Thomas will take you to meet Toby and Henrietta, and I want you to work with them. Victoria's wheels hummed happily on the rail. Wonderful to be running again, she thought. Edward introduced her to Boko at his own station, and they soon reached Thomas's junction. Thomas and the back controller were waiting for them. Thomas's driver was amazed at the change in Victoria. I hope you feel better, the back controller said to her. You certainly look better than when we first saw you. I feel wonderful. Thank you, sir, smiled Victoria. Victoria was coupled behind Annie and Clarabel, and they set up up the valley. At the station by the river, an inspector met them. Terence is in trouble, he said. I'll ride in your cab, Thomas, but go carefully until we know what has happened. A little way along the line, Terrence's owner was building a barn. The lane to the barn ran along the top of a cutting just outside the tunnel. That afternoon, Terrence had been pulling a trailer loaded with stones for the barn, when a boulder had fallen into the lane from the verge. Terrence swerved towards the edge of the cutting to avoid the boulder, and of course the trailer followed. Suddenly, the trailer's wheels hit a muddy patch and slipped towards the railway. The weight of the stone dragged the trailer further over the edge. Terence tried to hang on, but the trailer broke away and bumped down the steep hill towards the railway. Luckily, there was a large bush on the cutting side. The trailer ran into it and stopped, balancing dangerously. The heavy stone tumbled down the slope and landed beside the railway with a crash. Thomas's train is due, gasped Terence. His owner ran to telephone a warning to the station. His call was just in time. With the inspector in his cab, Thomas moved cautiously along the line. By the time they reached the place of the accident, the farmer had managed to fasten the trailer so that it would not move. The inspector made sure that the building stones had not damaged the railway. All right, he told Thomas's driver as he climbed back into this cab. Proceed a caution, please, and drop me at the next signal box so I can report what's happened. Thomas and the inspector reached the top station safely, found Toby and Henrietta waiting for them. Victoria and Henrietta liked each other at once and soon became the best of friends. There cannot be many railways, announced the Fat Controller, who can run a complete train of stock as old as Toby, Henrietta and Victoria. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you three cheers for Toby's vintage train. I am very proud of all three of you. And I know you will be a credit to me. Now Victoria is as happy as can be. She helps Henrietta take the workmen to and from the quarry, and at other times you will see her with Thomas, Sunny, and Clarabel running happily along the valley. She knows she's very lucky. This is much better than in a summer house in an orchard, she sometimes thinks to herself. It's great to be useful again. I think we can be sure, can't we, that Victoria will be useful for many years to come.